The U.S. Navy has announced the transit of USS Georgia through the strategic Strait of Hormuz. USS Georgia passed through the strait on December 21, 2020, accompanied by two Ticonderoga-class cruisers, USS Port Royal and USS Philippine Sea. This trio traveled into the Persian Gulf following the movement of the supercarrier USS Nimitz and associated elements of its carrier strike group further south in the Arabian Sea to support Operation Octave Quartz, the repositioning of the bulk of U.S. forces out of Somalia. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. has sent a message to Iran with the transit of USS Georgia in the Strait of Hormuz. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Hostilities in the region have been simmering since the U.S. government, under President Trump, unilaterally withdrew from Iran nuclear deal and imposed stringent sanctions against Iran. The deal offered Iran relief from sanctions in exchange for limits on its nuclear program. Trump administration is of the view that Iran is misusing the deal and trying to develop a nuclear weapon. Recent months have seen several spikes in hostilities which include the U.S. accusing Iran of a series of attacks on commercial ships, Iran downing an American RQ-4A Global Hawk drone, and an attack on Saudi Arabia's oil facility, which has been blamed on Iran. Iranians also seized a British tanker in the Strait in July, and two oil tankers were attacked in the nearby Gulf of Oman in June. Earlier this year, one of Iran's most powerful military commanders, General Qasem Soleimani, was killed by a U.S. airstrike in Iraq. Recently, Iran's top nuclear scientist, Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, was assassinated. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani blamed Israel for the killing and vowed retribution in due time. There is a perception that the U.S. greenlighted this undertaking. The Persian Gulf is a Mediterranean Sea in Western Asia. The body of water is an extension of the Indian Ocean, Gulf of Oman, through the Strait of Hormuz and lies between Iran to the northeast and the Arabian Peninsula to the southwest. The Persian Gulf is about 56 kilometers or 35 miles wide at its narrowest in the Strait of Hormuz. Around 33% of the world's liquefied natural gas and almost 20% of total global oil production passes through the strait, making it one of the most important sea routes. Because of its narrow width, it's kind of a choke point. Small missile boats and fast attack vessels, which can maneuver easily in these waters, can be used to harass large warships as well as commercial vessels. Iran has invested in these kind of small vessels and has developed strategies to deploy them effectively in the strait. In a September 11, 2008 report, the Washington Institute for the Near East Policy said that in the two decades since the Iraqi-imposed war on Iran, the IRGC has excelled in naval capabilities and is able to wage unique asymmetric warfare against larger naval forces. In December last year, the U.S. Navy has confirmed that multiple small Iranian boats ran alongside the Nimitz-class supercarrier USS Abraham Lincoln and other ships from her strike group as she sailed through the Strait of Hormuz into the Gulf of Oman.
USS Georgia, an Ohio-class submarine, is the second vessel of the United States Navy to be named for the U.S. state of Georgia. The contract to build her was awarded to the Electric Boat Division of General Dynamics Corporation in Groton, Connecticut on the 20th of February, 1976, and her keel was laid down on the 7th of April, 1979. She was launched on the 6th of November, 1982. In 1994, the Nuclear Posture Review Study determined that of the 18 Ohio SSBNs, the U.S. Navy would be operating in total, 14 would be sufficient for the strategic needs of the U.S. The decision was made to convert four Ohio-class boats into SSGNs capable of conducting a conventional land attack and special operations. As a result, the four oldest boats of the class, Ohio, Michigan, Florida, and Georgia, progressively entered the conversion process in late 2002. Georgia was redesignated to SSGN on the 1st of March 2004. In March 2005, Georgia entered Norfolk Naval Shipyard for her scheduled engineered refueling overhaul. The SSGN conversion took place concurrently. The conversion and refitting work was completed in February 2008. After the refit, Georgia moved to her new home port in Kings Bay, Georgia. In August 2009, Georgia began its first SSGN deployment. The conversion of USS Georgia modified 22 of the 24 88 inch or 2.2 meter diameter Trident missile tubes to contain large vertical launch systems, one configuration of which could be a cluster of seven Tomahawk cruise missiles. In this configuration, the number of cruise missiles carried could be a maximum of 154, the equivalent of what is typically deployed in a surface battle group. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile. It uses a liquid-fuel turbojet engine because it enabled greater range than a rocket engine of roughly the same size. A slower speed also makes low-altitude flight more viable, which in turn makes the missile much more difficult to detect by radar. Depending on the variant, the missile has a maximum range of 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers. The missile can hit a target with excellent accuracy. The vessel has four 21-inch torpedo tubes and is armed with Mark 48. The Mark 48 and its improved advanced capability ADCAP variant is a heavyweight torpedo. It's designed to sink deep diving nuclear powered submarines and high performance surface ships. It has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles, can dive to a depth of around 800 meters and has a maximum speed of 74 kilometers per hour or 46 miles per hour. For special operations, the advanced seal delivery system and the dry deck shelter can be mounted on the lockout chamber and the boat will be able to host up to 66 special operations sailors or marines such as Navy SEALs or USMC MARSOC teams. Improved communications equipment installed during the upgrade allows the SSGNs to serve as a forward-deployed, clandestined, small combatant joint command center. Iranian Navy is made up of small patrol vessels, some frigates, and a few corvettes apart from a modest submarine force. There are six frigates and three corvettes. The most powerful of these is the Sahand class that displaces around 2,000 tons. Iran's most potent submarine is the Russian diesel electric Kilo class. Iran has three of these. But these are pretty old and have seen no major upgrades. Clearly, the Iranian Navy is no match for USS Georgia. 
Iran's only chance against the platform is asymmetric warfare. But against a submarine like USS Georgia, this won't work, as the submarine can dive to a great depth, which makes it hard to detect. Overall, it can be said that odds are very heavily stacked against Iran. The message is clear. USS Georgia is not a platform to be messed with, and the US will not back down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.